Hello everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a railroad crossing in Roblox. It's very simple, it's very easy. If you just follow my steps, uh, you'll be able to make a railroad crossing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And yeah, let's get into this tutorial. So first of what you want to do is you want to get a railroad crossing control box, a BEPC, which stands for Backup Electric Power Company. Uh, you can get any control box, um, that looks like this. I prefer to use this one, and this is the Get Control Box Plus. It comes with the uh, arrow to raise the gate, lower the gate. If you want to just activate the lights, you press that just to activate the light. Or if you just want to lower the gate, you can. And that's for foreign uh, railroad crossings like the Sea Tech Republic or railroad crossings that have the little uh, white light on it. Uh, so far, if you're doing like a Japanese railroad crossing or Indonesia railroad crossing, these arrows are to indicate which direction the train goes. So you can get your box like this. Now, what you want to do is after you get your box, you want to get your railroad crossing gate. You can search up railroad crossing gates in the two box in the search bar right there. And personally, I mean, it doesn't matter what well, actually matters what gate you use, but I'm going to go with this gate right here. This is a hold up. I'm sorry. This is a WCH gate mechanism. So I'm going to go with this gate mechanism so I'm gonna kinda of move this a little bit I'm gonna kinda of move this a little bit right here so I can have space for that other gate to go and I'm gonna duplicate this gate right here and put it on this side now I know this is not a road I know this is a supermarket parking lot but we're just doing this for tutorial next up after that you wanna type in road crossing lights for your lights and Basically, they come with a lot of lights. There's a bunch of variety of lights. So personally, what I do is I get the lights from. Um, hold up, if I can scroll down to it, I get the lights from this railroad crossing light set right here. I get this. Oh, oh, that's the wrong one. Whoops. Don't, don't. Nope. This one. There we go. This one. So I get these lights right here. So this is the lights that I usually get. Um, okay. Now, now. I'm going to go through the lights and I'm going to kind of see which light is which because I use a specific light. This is crossing light, crossing light. I usually like the RI. I usually like the RISD LED lights because I prefer those. But after that, so we're going to get these lights. I'm going to get these two lights right here. And these are going to be my lights for that side, that crossing right there and that crossing right there. After you do that, you can take all these other lights. So what I'm going to do is take all these other lights in the pack. And I'm going to delete these lights. I'm going to get rid of these lights because we don't need them no more. So give me some time. So I know this takes, this is time consuming. But I'm trying to do this, like I'm doing it like this because I don't want to delete the whole store that I have right there. With a fire alarm system, which I'm going to get into that video another day. With that fire alarm system in there, I'm not going to try to reveal too much because, yeah, we're just going to do this railroad crossing tutorial. Alright, so, uh, just give me time. Uh, like I said, you know, it takes some time. You know, it can be frustrating trying to delete the lights without deleting the map or the store. So, just bear with me while I do that. Okay, I'm going to do this because I'm trying to. Alright. Alright, so now that I've deleted all the lights, I have my two railroad crossing lights that I'm going to use. So after that, I'm going to take these, I'm going to ungroup this, and I'm going to take this. Now I'm going to rotate it. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on the gate. Now keep in mind, you have to put these cross these uh, lights on the gate. And sometimes it could be a struggle, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's out of the paint behind. So... I'm going to just angle them right there, and I'll readjust them if I need to when I get the cross books. Alright, so after that, you're going to put your lights on the rubber crossing gate mechanism, or the pole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like they would do in real life, with a real life rubber crossing. Um, so I think that's a little too high. Okay, so right about here. Okay. So now that you have your... It's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work out pretty good. Okay. Alright. So now that you have your lights, what you're gonna do now is search up Bravo Crossing Signs. Oops. 
and basically they're going to come up with some crossbuck signs and all that stuff. I use these crossbuck signs because they're a little more realistic. So after I use these crossbuck signs, all I got to do is just put them on a pole. It's really nothing it's a sign. So I'm going to put them on the pole right there. Okay, that kind of was a little too far, but okay. And I'm going to put them, and usually I like to adjust them onto the pole to make sure that they're on the pole. So then after that, I'm going to raise it up right about here, and boom, bada bing bada boom. Got the first one down, uh, kind of lower this down a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, that should be good. Okay, so after that, I'm going to do the same thing for this crossing over here. Put the sign, crossbook sign on that crossing. Put it on this crossing right here, and then boom, there you go. So you have your lights and your crossbook signs on the crossing. So after that, what we're going to do now, uh, we're gonna, I want to make this crossing. If you want to be realistic with the railroad crossing, if you want to be, you know, a little realistic with the railroad crossing. You know, if you want to make it like a railroad crossing line or something like that, you can. But personally, it really doesn't matter. It's your preference of what you want the railroad crossing to be. So I'm just going to put a Union Pacific sign on it. And to look, look up these emergency things, all you got to do is type in emergency info in the toolbox search bar. And it'll pop up with those signs and all that stuff. Okay, so that should be good for now. And I'm going to do the same thing for... Yeah. Oops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Oh, that is definitely the wrong one. Okay, I was not doing that. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. And add the emergency info sign. And there is a way you can edit like the numbers and all that, all that stuff. But I don't want to get into too detail. I just want to show you how to do railroad crossing. So now we got the railroad crossing all I've done. All we need now is the bells. So I'm going to type in GS bell. And I could see uh, there's a type 3 bell, and just to make sure to confirm, it is a uh, railroad crossing type D bell. I go in here, there we go, yes, it is. So we're gonna put this bell on this crossing right here. And what I like to do when I make railroad crossings or when I do railroad crossings, I like to center the bell, have it on there like that because it makes it look more realistic. Okay, now after that, I'm gonna start typing a WCH. And I don't, you know, and now I'm going to look for a bell, WCH bell, WCH bell, I'm going to look for one that I want. It's not really many good ones no more because they've all got taken down. Or, yeah. Actually, let's look up a safe train. Okay. Alright, so we're going to use this one because why not. So I'm going to look for my safe train high pitch one. So it will be this one right here. So this one is gone. So after that, I do the same thing with this rubber crossing bell and I will put it on. I will put it on this crossing right here. And all that and bada so once you have everything installed and once you have the cross installed, all you have to do, this is really easy, and this is why I say it's easy, you take everything, you select everything besides the signs, you select the crossing gates, the lights, and the, so the main things you would basically have to select are the crossing gate, or is the box, the gate mechanisms, the lights, and the bells. The signs and everything, you can do that if you want to, if you want to group the crossing, but I prefer to do that, but after that I click group. And bada beam, bada boom, and there you go. So now everything, all your main components are grouped. So when you go to play the game or go to test it, everything should work properly if you did it right and follow these steps. And I, I know this tutorial, I know this kind of tutorial is a little bit too long. I know this tutorial is like almost 10 minutes long, but you know, as, as the more depth, the more in depth you get into it, the better understanding that people are going to have. The more is going to help people understand it. Um, so we're going to kind of just wait a little bit because it is taking a little while to load. It does take some time to load. Because the game is a big supermarket, so that's why it takes some time to load. So.
sometimes when the game is loading, it's going to do that. But we're just going to wait. And continue to wait. Alright, there we go. So, usually that happens. Uh, usually... Does that, but uh, sometimes the keys do glitch. There we go. So sometimes I have to do that to kind of get the keys to go up. But now that we have the crossings installed, like okay, just just okay. So give me a second while I let the gate do a cycle. I'm gonna let them go down. Okay, okay. Wait a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to press it to raise them up. Because sometimes these gates do like to glitch. There we go. So, and everything's good. So, you can tell when you install everything right because these lights will not be on or nothing. So, all you have to do for the moment you to make sure everything's working. And bada bing, bada boom. There you have it. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap up the video of how to make a railroad crossing on Roblox. Or how to do a railroad crossing on Roblox, which is very, 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 very simple. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 300 subscribers. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.